What's up guys, I'm LQ, this is the LQ Review. Thank you so much for joining me right here at my YouTube channel. This is where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. Movies, video games, comic books, and TV shows. And right now, I'd like to talk about the most recent episode of The Walking Dead called Here's Negan. And Man, I've been critical of of this of this stretch of six episodes because they're they've been rather boring, just focusing on one character and giving us information that we didn't really need or want. Um, even the Carol and Daryl stuff was kind of meh, and you know they, they usually have such great content. But here we get Negan's backstory, something that we've been wanting since. He was introduced. At least I've been wanting it since he was introduced. Now, I knew his backstory. I've read all the comics. I have all the comics. Um, but I wanted to see it on the on the on on the screen. I wanted to see his origin play out on the screen, and I loved it. I loved seeing the transformation that he went through, the the change that he went through, because he went from kind of being um, passive, even a little skittish, and then. And his only purpose is to, you know, take care of his sick wife who's, who has cancer, who found out she had cancer right in the early days of the apocalypse, um, and having to protect her and try to get her healed during the apocalypse. We see his journey, we see his story, and we see him go from somewhat passive, skittish guy to being the, the leader of the saviors. At, when we leave him off here, he hasn't created the saviors yet but he is now that person he is the person who can lead the saviors and man man i loved it i love seeing the change i love seeing the evolution of negan um the 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 heartbreak that he goes through in this episode i can't relate to i don't think many people can relate to it and nobody wants to relate to it because it is some of the worst kind of heartbreak that you can possibly imagine and he has to endure it and and what is even more heartbreaking is that he had the ability to keep it from happening he had what she needed in his hands he just didn't get there fast enough but then at the end of the episode so he, he goes through the thing with his wife he loses his wife and he sees that he could have saved her he could have saved her he had the stuff in hand and she took her life because maybe he wasn't fast enough maybe she wanted to free him of her whatever the case may be she ended it and he had to reconcile that and he had to move on and he 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 kind of it was kind of baptism by fire or, or rebirth by fire very symbolic in the way that he moved on from there and then at the end when he had the scene with those guys, those thugs who were trying to get the drugs, it was Negan was born at that point. The leader of the saviors, Negan, was born. He goes in not caring what happens to him, and he saves the people that helped him, and then and then the Negan who leads the saviors is born. And it was just, a, it was just such a great moment. And you understand now how he became who he is and it gives so much more depth to Negan before to, to Negan from All Out War it gives so much more depth to that and I love it I love it I think this this was one of my top 10 episodes of The Walking Dead ever I adored it so good so good now it's Negan's one of my favorite characters that to be fair but I adored this episode I thought it was perfect so, what did you think of The Walking Dead Here's Negan episode? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you love it as much as I did? Or did you not? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your take on it. I'd love to have a conversation about it. While you're down there, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out a lot of content, and I want to make sure that you're up to date with everything that I'm doing. And as always, thank you so much for joining me right here at the LQ Review, where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. Until next time, we'll see you later.